So I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of jerk sauce to the pan because it's jerk turkey. And then I'm gonna base it with all the juice in there. Let's begin. These are the seasons we are gonna use. I'm just basing it with the jerk sauce. So I get all that jerk juice inside of it. some lemon water with vinegar and I squeeze some sour orange if you know what sour orange is we have sour lots of sour orange in Jamaica so I, I buy sour orange at the store and I squeeze the sour orange on it and I put it in lemon and vinegar overnight with salt in the water overnight so now it's nice and clean and I make it drain so it's nice and clean so I'm gonna season it I'm gonna jerk it but I'm not gonna put a lot of jerk season on the outside because it burns when you have a lot of jerk season or green season on the outside. So I'm gonna mostly put the green season and the jerk season on the inside because I'm gonna make a jerk sauce to pour over the chicken. Not chicken, over the turkey when it's cooked. So I'm gonna add some olive oil to it. So I'm just putting like about a tablespoon, about a tablespoon of olive oil. And the turkey so all that good season can adhere to the meat so I'm gonna put that over the turkey wings legs and you know, I'm just gonna put some oil in it I'm just gonna grease down the turkey a bit and then I'm gonna put all the season on the turkey so I have all-purpose season you can use any brand of your choice so I'm gonna put all the dry rub on the outside. Some black pepper. About a tablespoon of everything. Some complete seasoning. And you're gonna do the same on the inside and this is jerk dry rub so I'm putting the jerk season on the outside more on the outside jerk season not the wet one I don't put the wet one on the outside okay just burn in the oven so um, this is Caribbean fusion master roasting grilling season and it had 18 different type of herb blend up in it very good for the turkey and this it was the dry jerk season caribbean fusion dry jerk season see so just gonna rub <coughs> over black pepper <laughs> you're just gonna rub the turkey all over make sure you season it properly okay And you're gonna season it back the same. Let's put some oil on it and the back too. And do the same just like what you do the front. The same. Even under the wing, make sure you get under the wing. Make sure the bird is nice and seasoned. Oh yeah. All that mixture of season, the bird is gonna be delicious. And 
a tablespoon on the inside just the same of every little thing tablespoon on the inside mm -hmm. this bird well season gonna taste very good don't worry about the season that clump up the season that clump up is very good they are a natural season when you see the season clump up in the bottle those are the good season natural season when you can pour from the bottle or the lump of lumpy those are all natural season and i put a tablespoon of everything even on the inside right and you're gonna season up inside the turkey make sure you get every part of it nice season and i'm not gonna stuff this turkey i'm just gonna tie the legs together for a great presentation that's all so we are putting four tablespoons of jerk season on the inside not the outside it's gonna burn if i put it on the outside and, and um i'm gonna use just two tablespoons of the green season And I'm gonna rub it on the inside. I just put a little small amount. You can put a little small amount on the outside, but I don't do too much of it on the outside because it's gonna burn in the oven when you put too much of this on the outside. It's a little. That's it. And I'm gonna make a jerk sauce to go with it, so it's okay. I put a little on the back of it. Just a small, just about a teaspoon. And you make a nice jerk sauce to go with it. You pour it over it. When you slice it, you just pour it over it. But this is well seasoned. When I say well seasoned, and it's soaked overnight in that lemon in that lemon and sour orange and salt and vinegar it's soak overnight so you know how delicious this is gonna be and i'm gonna make it marinate too long and if you want to marinate it overnight that's okay too you know but i'm gonna do this might be around eight hours and i stick it in the oven Cover the wings and the tip of the leg so it don't burn. and cover the breast place it in the oven at 350 degrees and just let it bake uncover don't cover it when it's almost done then you can cover it when it get the color that you like i like when it's golden then i remove the paper from the breast and from the wing and from the feet I 
and this is a de very delicious turkey trite you know your family would like it this is our Jamaican jerk turkey I have another turkey on the channel just regular turkey you like that one too I'm going to put the link in the description box. Now I'm going to remove everything and base it. You can base it with a spoon or a turkey baser. So I'm removing all the paper that I'd put on it. Even the wings, I can remove the paper from the wings now. I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of jerk sauce to the pan because it's jerk turkey and then I'm gonna base it with all the juice in there use a turkey baster I don't see mine right now mine went for holiday so just use a turkey baster to base it I'm just gonna turn this stove down on like medium you know it's um it's on 325 it was on 350 then I put it to 325 so I'm just gonna put it down to 300 so I'm just basing it with the jerk sauce so I get all that jerk juice inside of it Looking all good and looking all de delicious for the Thanksgiving table. This is a great recipe, great one. And I'm going to leave it in the description box so you can do it for your family. I'm just going to check to see if it's cooked. Oh, it's almost cooked. Oh, my thermometer, that's okay. You just use the fork. If, if it runs clear, then you know it's almost done i'm just gonna base it again and that's it i'm gonna stick it in the breast so if it's say like 160 170 160 170 it's cooked but i'm just gonna base it and put it back for just a, a 15 more minutes and if you have a fork just check it with your fork if it run clear then you know it's cooked just check it with the fork as long as it run clear it's cooked so I'm just gonna base it with the jerk sauce and put the jerk sauces in the pan so I just base it with the jerk sauce and I just put it back for 15 minutes it's cooked I just put it back I just put some more jerk sauce and I just need some more jerk sauce then I put it for 15 minutes after 15 minutes and it's cooked and done just let it rest for half an hour before you cut into it because if you cut into it before half an hour then all the juice is just gonna run out bye from eat good tv love you wish you all the best happy holidays be safe